I don't know, rice pudding was a highlight, but like that was kind of... <laughs> I think a popsicle works if it's not a hot That's shower. That's a good idea. If it's a cold shower, a popsicle's fine. I don't want to give anyone that visual, but yeah, that's a pretty good one. Hey guys and welcome to the Celebrity Expert, your number one source for all things TV shows and celebrities. And in today's video, we're going to look at how Brie Larson got so much hate from people that she didn't deserve. Be still. He's like all over the place. There's like chocolate covered strawberries and I'm seeing him go towards it. And I was like, hey pal, no, we're not doing that. And he was like going towards the crackers and I was like, no, no, we're not doing that. Hey, and I like Tina Fey was trying to talk to me and I was trying to talk to her, but I was like, and there's a small person that I'm in charge of and their parents are going to kill me if I lose him. Before we begin with this video, here's a quick and easy question for you all. Can you all tell us on which date the upcoming Captain Marvel movie is going to release? If you know the right answer, let us know in the comment section down below. Or stick to the end of the video, which is when I'm going to reveal the answer to this question. You did a great job, and the kid Jacob did a great job, and he's, he's such best. a cute kid. You got to meet him. Oh yeah, he's. I love Isn't that kid. He's the best. Like for instance, at the SAG Awards the other night, uh, we both were presenting together, so they pull us together. And most people, when you're a presenter, you're an adult. The Marvel Cinema the Cinematic Universe is home to many incredible characters, superheroes and villains. It is comprised of 32 theatrical releases and 10 Disney Plus series and movies full of impressively intricate and interwomen stories and fans have fallen in love with the franchise's characters. Yeah. And that, did that start to change your process? Well, I guess. I think I just became a little scarier to people. I think a lot of the time when I was auditioning, people were like, whoa, you know, this is just Twilight. Like, you don't have to go so far with it, you know? But I Captain Marvel made her MCU debut in a standalone movie of the same name where fans were introduced to one of the most powerful characters in the MCU. Though the announcement of Brie Larson as the actor taking on the role was met by most with jubilation, sadly, a vocal minority of the fan base reacted instead with withdrawal from day one. I sat, well, I was sat next to him at dinner at our like welcome dinner and I thought that he yeah. was like mad at me for the first hour and then and then I, I won him over. You did? <laughs> yeah. I just worked him real hard. I was like, you're going to like me. We're going to get along. Is that how you do everybody? Yeah. That's what I did to you. This guy came up to me after watching me for a while, and he was like, how old's your son? <laughs> <laughs> Got a six-year-old back at home. And I was like, oh, no. I was so embarrassed that I was like, oh, no, no, he's just my friend. And that doesn't really work. Since her debut, Captain Marvel has only appeared in three other Marvel projects, Avengers Endgame and brief post credit scene appearances in both Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings and the final episode of Disney Plus series Miss Marvel. Captain Marvel is due to be an important character in the MCU for the next few phases, leading into Avengers Secret Wars, helping the other heroes fight the multiverse battle. Or like an awards dungeon or just stick them all at the bottom <laughs> of the bed? Or Well, when I first started collecting them, because they're all such different shapes, I thought, Maybe there's something to this. Maybe they all at one point all fit together. You know, maybe there's some secret cave that I need to go to. And if you place all of them there, then like a big door opens and I get to go to a magical land that no one's ever seen before. So I'll let you know if that happens. There is no denying that Brie Larson can act. Just take a quick look at her breathtaking performances in 2015's Room, her hilarious performance in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and her role in the criminally underrated flick Free Fire. Though some argue that writing in the MCU for her character is where the character stumbles. This has nothing to do with the actress who plays her like. The pursuit? The, the prosciutto. The pursuit. The parachute. Of? The parachute of love. <laughs> the pursuit of happiness. The pursuit of happiness! Yes, there we go. <laughs> thing I tried for a while was eating dinner in the shower. I was like adamant that I that, that was going to be a great time saver. I was always really concerned. Well, that's just a sign of mental illness more than that's just like <laughs> it didn't make any eating sense. Eating dinner in the shower? No, you can't because you can't like shampoo and eat a steak at the same time. Like scalp potatoes doesn't work in the shower. It right. doesn't taste good with water. I mean, you, you know, ever I, do stuff like that? Eat in the shower? No. No, not eat in the shower. In the hands of a lesser actor, this would have been proven a serious flaw. Yet Brie Larson's brilliant acting chops and hilariously witty humor have elevated the role of Carol Denvers has played in the story so far. 67% of the top critics reviewing the 100 highest grossing movies in 2017 were white males. Less than a quarter were white women and less than 10% were unrepresented men. Only 2.5% of those top critics were women. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I hope so, because he's like 
one of my favorite filmmakers and favorite people, and it was just an absolute dream collaborating with him. So I hope so. Yeah, Isn't it fun being there for all my extra takes? I signed you up. Such a good apprenticeship. I don't think no, I actually learned. Now that the Avengers team is in flux with so many of the original members lost, Captain Marvel is likely to be a larger role in the story to come and have more time and care put into developing the place of the MCU. Don, what was it like when somebody new comes in? Is there like initiation? Is there a like, oh. you just are you accepting? You're like, oh. no, no, no. There was definitely a hazing period. I think uh, I'm still in it. She's still in it. She's still yeah. in it. Yeah. Uh, but, and it's good because we actually you know, get to kind of play with that. We do anyway, for sure, mm -hmm. in the scene itself. When she from her introduction, some fans criticized Captain Marvel character for being too cocky and too egoistical to be a superhero. These descriptions could really be applied to fan favorites like Tony Stark or Thor, but they are somehow problematic when applied to a hero of the female persuasion. Allowing myself to learn from those mistakes. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty accountable and responsible for my own life sure. at any rate. So, yeah. um, celebrity is not something that I, I use as any sort of platform to. To be, to be more responsible or accountable, I suppose. But uh, it's there's certainly an absolute uh, blessing to um, see the joy on, on, on kids' faces. The line between Carol and Thor is even highlighted by Thor giving her the seal of approval when she does not wins at Milnor. I don't, you know, I understand, like, and I want to own the fact that there is some historical mm -hmm. merit to it, but I also just don't want to. I don't want to negate the work that has already been yeah. done before. Yeah. By the way, you were in Singapore with Gemma, right? Mm -hmm. Did you fall in love with her during Crazy Rich Asians like the rest of us? And well, like, were you obsessed I had already with her worked, before? I'd already worked with her, oh. so I, I knew her before. I'd already fallen in love with her. <laughs> so it was just exciting to see her in this Instant terms such as confident, powerful, and empowering are far more appropriate. Captain Marvel was Marvel's first female-led superhero epic, and with that came many challenges. After such a lengthy delay before this milestone, expectations were high, Marvel had to not only entertain but also showcase an empowering hero who just happened to be female in a world that largely still resents a powerful woman. Delicious showing Captain Marvel's raw strength and power, but which alone makes Captain Marvel a great role model. Likewise, her determination equally deserves to be admired. Throughout the film, we see Carol meet many obstacles, yet in moments of empowerment, we see her get up and try again, pushing back harder than before to achieve her goals. The hatred for her did not start until 2018 when during a speech at the Women in Film Crystal Plus Lucy Awards in Los Angeles, she cited a then-recent USC's Annenberg Burke Inclusion Initiative study that found in 2017 only 2.5% of top critics were women of color, while 80% of film critics who reviewed the year's top box office movies were male. Alright guys, so the answer to the question I asked you at the beginning of the video is November 10th, 2023. Yes, that's the right answer. Captain Marvel is going to release on November 10th, 2023. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you did, do like, share and comment on this video and do not forget to subscribe to The Celebrity Expert and we will see you around next time with another brand new video. Till then, keep watching The Celebrity Expert. Bye guys!